take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. From the new weapons to the new Warzone map, players should not run out of game modes to play over the holiday season. Along with the new season, we have seen the long-awaited integration between Call of Duty Warzone and Black Ops Cold War. Take our lead. Raven Software have briefly revealed nerfs to the Dragon's Breath R90 and Kilo 141, alongside buffs to the BOCW gun ranges. Now, Raven Software's creative director Amos Hodge briefly clarified that the game's most abused guns have, in fact, been nerfed. Make your mark, take our lead. At last, the Brune meta is over. For the last couple of months, the Brune has been dominating Warzone. Thanks to its laser beam accuracy, impressive damage values, and surprising versatility, few could compete with it. With the recent nerfs, though, it isn't looking so hot anymore. Take our lead. One of the most commonly used guns, for that very reason, is the Kilo 141 Assault Rifle. Thanks to Warzone's attachment system, the Kilo can be built in a number of different ways to be a top-tier gun for long-range battles, a close-range shredder, or a jack-of-all-trades and be the perfect all-arounder. Let's help you make your mark. Just a few weeks into the season, Epic Games has answered the requests of the community by nerfing the Primal Shotgun in all its rarity tiers. The speed at which the recycler can destroy in-game objects has been increased drastically. The damage it can do to structures has also been increased. Take our lead. The R90 with Dragon's Breath Rounds is still a powerful shotgun in Warzone, but the gun is far less forgiving after Raven nerfed the weapon last month. Players can no longer get a two-pump down with Dragon's Breath Rounds at more than a couple of meters. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell notification.